Um, this time, we are going to introduce you about the FTIR spectrometers. So, firstly, we would like to introduce you uh, OptoSky. OptoSky is one-stop spectroscopy solutions manufacturer. And uh, we are the leader in spectrometers developing with 20 years. And uh, we are the turnkey spectroscopy solutions provider. And we pioneer technology innovations. And uh, we already uh, built 20, 200 distributors from over 60 countries. And uh, uh, firstly, uh, we are going to divide today's leap into five parts. And the uh, first part is about the principle of FTIR spectrometers. And the secondary is about how we guide you to FTIR spectrometer model selections, as well as the application notes. Uh, finally, we are going to share you some case studies and not to mention about our OptoSky company. So in the Earth, we are surrounded by the many rays, and such as cosmic rays, gamma rays, X-rays, and radio waves. But FTIR spectrometers focus on the uh, infrared light covered from UV visible and infrared from 200 nanometers to 25,000 nanometers. So you may ask, you may know that every molecule interacted with the infrared light can experience three times of excitation energies. Uh, they add excitation energy transition, uh, such the highest energy transition is the electronic energy and the lower ones with the vibrational energy as well as the rotational energy. Mm -hmm. You may ask that what is the principle of the FTIR spectroscopy. And uh, FTIR spectroscopy focuses on molecular observes the infrared light converting the two molecular vibrations. In fact, infrared light interacts with uh, chemical bonds only if the energy of the radiation matches the vibrational transitional energy of this bond. So uh, you may say that uh, this is the vivid IR spectrum spectrums. They have many uh, unique peaks and uh, this peak is the a uh, unique identification of the polystyrene. In fact, the absorption wave number depends on the exact structures of the molecules. So uh, we provide a series of TIR spectrometers to global customers to measure materials in solids, liquid, and gases due to our FTIR with the high performances have many advantages over the competitors. So we have a, a very a, quite advantages to measure gases, such as uh, we needed to focus to introduce how FTIR gas analyzers principle. Let, firstly, there is infrared, infrared light passes through a gas cell, and then part of the infrared light is absorbed, and the other part to be transmitted and to be analyzed by the FTIR spectrometers. So we provide an automated online qualitative and quantitative FTIR gas analysis. So this is the basic principle. Then, uh, we, you may ask how the molecular interact with the infrared light. Uh, first, the interaction between IR light and molecules will cause the vibrational chemical bonds. And the, this vibrational mode corresponds to absorption peaks. In addition to the vibrational spectrum, gas molecules also produce a fine rotational spectrum. So, for instance, this, this is how sulfur deoxide molecular vibrational works. You see, this is the symmetric stretching uh, vibration. It's like uh, the uh, arrows directions. And you also have the asymmetric stretching vibrations and uh, to the 
these directions. And uh, you can also need to know you have the deformer, make sure no vibration, use the bending vibration, shear vibrations, etc. So we already know how the molecules work, and uh, you know that uh, a molecule will appear on infrared spectra if this dipolar moment changes during vibration. And due to the symmetric, the dipolar moment of a homonuclear, the atomic nucleus is zero, such as the hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and uh, chlorine. And such as this thing, this this is the simple the atomic molecules only have one bond can only have one vibrational band. Simple stretching motions of two atoms similar to two unloaded. So uh, you know that the asymmetric molecules haven't any infrared spectrum on top force. It didn't result in dipolar changes. So, uh, but uh, for the asymmetric the atomic molecules such as COHCl can also have the infrared spectrum. As we all know that uh, Raman spectroscopy provides complementary information of the molecules to, sorry, I needed to, uh, yeah. So, because the uh, ding ding is uh, sounded, and uh, we I turn off it. So let's continue. That it's known that Raman spectroscopy provides uh, complementary information of molecules to infrared spectroscopy. Infrared spectroscopy especially have the active uh, power bond such as OH and NH, which is often used to identify functional groups of molecules. While Raman spectroscopy, which is quite active for bonds such as CCSS, CS used to identify the skeptical structures of molecular. So both Raman spectroscopy and infrared spectroscopy used to analyze the molecular information. So uh, how the infrared line interacted with the sample to be detected uh, is simplified. For example, it's opposed to the electromagnetic radiation such as infrared line. The line is absorbed and transmitted and refracted. And this transmitted and refracted light usually analyzes by the FTIR spectrometers. And uh, as well as we have the scattering line can be analyzed by Raman. And uh, not to mention the photoluminescence, usually including the fluorescence and phosphorescence. This page, we are going to show you a list of gases such as CH4, CO, CO2, HO2, HCl, and NO eccentric. Every gas in the rare spectrum has a unique peak. This is the unique peaks of this gas, such as in blue is CH4. This is uh, this peak is uh, uh, focused in the in around uh, one one thousand two hundred and uh, with the most scattering peaks around in around three thousand wave numbers, and such as you can see uh, water H two O. They have a more uh, 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 very like the forest trees and uh, scattering. Uh, in, they, they have a wider Peaks such as they covered in the range of uh, twelve hundreds to the eighteen uh, hundreds, as well as in around three thousand eight hundred wave numbers. So all these galaxies the focus on the six hundred wave numbers to forty four thousand wave numbers. Um, each unique peak coming these gases. And uh, this is uh, called the fingerprint spectrum. 
you just need to recognize these peaks and you can know it is these gases. Mm, when we, uh, last one, we also want to introduce something about FTIR quantitative analysis. So what is the infrared spectroscopy quantitative analysis in bill law that the concentration is in, com in proportional to the absorbance? So such as we have a no one, two, three, four, uh, known concentration curve. And uh, we can uh, build this molding inside and uh, to form it a uh, concentration and absorbance uh, line. And uh, if we, the more the database, the line, the this line will be more accurate. So we can just uh, calculate X unknown concentration by the building molding. So this is the basic principle of the quantitative analysis. We have already uh, have the software for quantitative analysis. We have uh, explained much about the principle of FTIR spectrometers. You might be feel a little bit boring, but it doesn't matter even if you just get a general idea about this principle, it's not. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can go directly to the guide to FTIR spectrometers the model selection. So first of all, we would like to show what the working principle of our FTIR spectrometers. And uh, FTIR spectrometers is consist of the interferometers, which is uh, uh, our patented uh, can warranty 10 years interferometers. This is like the heart of the instrument and the performances of interferometer can decide the quality of these spectrometers. And uh, also you need to choose the beam splitter. You need uh, the most commonly used is the KBR with a wider range from 300 50 to the 8,000 wave numbers. And uh, we also have a zinc cylinder, zinc cylinder, and uh, it covers from 500 to 5,000 wave numbers. After uh, you have a check the range, you will tend to focus on light source. For the infrared light source, we usually use silicon carbide, SIC or the tungsten, and uh, this is the classical uh, infrared light source for silicon carbide. And uh, also, uh, you need to know what exactly sample compartment needed. You need one sample compartment or maybe two. We can uh, customize it for you. Last one, but the most important is our detectors. Uh, the most commonly used and high sensitivity is DLR TGS. And if you needed uh, cooling, you can choose electronic TE cooling MCT or uh, deep cooling with liquid nitrogen MCT. So uh, it's like a uh, light is like a uh, light source as as I see and um, the like emit and the infrared light and uh, uh, the interferometer and pass through the sample the light will pass through to the to the sample compartment and then we'll focus on the detectors to make collect the signal and uh, call the interferogram. So uh, actually it's uh, very complicated, but uh, if we make it uh, simple uh, divisions, they are only uh, four parts. And these four parts are important when you need it to choose the model. So um, as we have explained that you needed to make uh, customer know the importance of the internal components. Based on our technologies, 
we have uh, developed a uh, full range of the FTIR spectrometers, such as uh, we uh, already have the uh, many compact FTIR spectrometer series. With a more compact size, this uh, spectrometer will be more widely applied to the field site. Uh, such as we already have the most miniature ATP A900 with a seven inches green and we ATR diamond. This is still the most miniature and high performance uh, uh, FTIR models. And uh, you can also know that ATP A900 TP with uh, 10 inches green and uh, with also ATR and the battery can be used outdoor for four to six hours. And this already sold a lot to the customs and police for uh, explosive and narcotics. And not to mention our bestseller ATP A900 plus. It used widely for solid liquid and gases can attach to many attachments. So we will in next page introduce about our bestseller and how to select different attachments. And uh, as well as we have the online liquid with this rotation to can do the online liquid analysis and uh, like this one also can rotate to analyze the liquids. And uh, we also developed the emission spectroscopy as well as we have the gases analysis. We not only develop compact size, the more important we have the capability to develop that great bench top FTIR spectrometers, such as we have the classic bench top and we have the dual sample compartment FTIR spectrometers, as well as we can upgrade to 0.25 set river numbers resolutions scientific grade ATP A900 Pro. And last one, we have the most advanced vacuum uh, FTIR spectrometer, which is a very complicated. And even if this housing needed to be uh, to be make it int integrated, and uh, without any inside it is a vacuum, and uh, it's it's still the uh, tough case in in the world. So they represent the uh, high technologies of FTIR spectrometer technology. This page, we focus on our bestseller ATP A900 plus with attachments. This is the host. And uh, we usually, uh, as we mentioned to you about the transmittance and reflectance. So if you need to measure transmittance, you can attached to the liquid transmission cell, solid transmission model, and gas transmission cells. And uh, usually, uh, we can use measure views this liquid film, lubricant oil, organic solutions, powder press, thin film, etc. And this is very compact and cost effective. But uh, we also use a lot of reflectance mode. So attenuated total reflectance ATR attachments the most popular, especially like diamonds, which is durable to use, can measure solid, liquid, and gas. For heated diamond, we sold a lot to measure heavy oil and uh, as mentioned germanium crystals can measure soft sample in black and zinc cylinders. We have the fine times and one times um, as well as if you want to measure diffuse refractance, you can use, we have the upward and as well as the front. And also we accept specular refractions modules and we also have the 30 degrees can customize. Uh, we have a picture here, but we can accept customization. 
uh, we are not to have uh, many advantages in ST mid IR spectrometers, but we are also very good at uh, FT NIR spectrometers. Uh, this is the IR1000 series. This is the research FT NIR spectrometers, is the IR1000. We have the IR1000D, which is uh, used for top tobacco for leaf sorting and feed sorting and cover sorting without any contact the sample. So it's used quite fluent. And we also can attach a solid probe to measure pharmaceutical drug pills, raw materials and excipients. And uh, IR1000 Pro, which is still the most advanced online process analytical technology. They are used a lot in chemical and uh, petrochemical, feed, food, and textile industry. And IR1000S means integrating sphere and used for any shapes of material samples to, to measure it so it can use a lot to food sorting and also you can have a uh, lot of IR1000M for the chemical, petrochemical and food. Uh, overall we have the very uh, high performance uh, FTNIR, we start to make it a more compact size. So IR1600 is the uh, model that developed to, to make it a small compact size. So we already have three models, IR1600T and the IR16000. 100TS and IR1600DF and they are applied to chemical, food, petrochemical, textile, feed and uh, all these different industries and use quite a lot about this. After we have uh, introduced so many models to you, whether it's uh, the mid-IR or the infrared, NIR, and uh, we, you may also say that we don't know how to select our model. So in this page, we want to summarize how to make a, make a suitable, suitable model selection. So ask seven questions. Firstly, if it's in the range of mid IR or near IR, so we have the mid IR, Models ATP A900 and NIR IR1000 series. And then you can ask if the sample state in solids, liquids, or gases, and you can choose the ATR diamond or, the, or liquid sample cells or gas cells to check the suitable models. Of course, it's very important to check if the physical analysis or chemical analysis, and uh, if it's using the laboratory and in the field. If using the laboratory, and you can choose the bench top with higher performances and functionality. And if you are using the field, you can choose the more compact size. And if better to choose the large screen and the battery to take can to be the few. And uh, you can also choose the scientific grade and the industrial application. For scientific grade, they usually ask for higher uh, performances and a wider uh, uh, functionalities, and uh, they usually have more budgets because they want to use these instruments to many applications. But uh, for some industry applications, they may maybe ask single functions and want to make it more cost effective, or they want to do some online analysis. So when you know it, you need it, you can choose how to. Uh, how to choose. Of course, online process analysis is uh, growing more and more popularities. And you, if you know it, 
and you can choose the IR1000 Pro. And you can also have many static analysis. And last one, but not least, you need to check if it's needed qualitative and quantitative analysis. For quantitative analysis, software is needed to pay an extra cost. So uh, you just need to ask your questions, seven questions, and all oh, know exactly these answers, then we can help you select the suitable models. Next, we are going to give you some notes about application. So if you want to uh, know how FTIR spectrometers apply to the NE, applications, uh, it has a wide application such as the pharmaceuticals, it's used for the raw materials identification, excipients, APIs, and the contaminants analysis. And also we have the cosmetics for material identification and contaminants and failure analysis. So for the food products, so we can identify the raw materials and we can identify uh, packaging materials, etc. For the environment, so also a wide application such as water analysis, soil analysis, exhaust gas analysis, and we can measure different water and air particles we can measure it, those oil in waters. We also have many other applications in chemicals and polymers, such as uh, we can uh, identify plastics and robots, as well as synthetic products. And not to mention about agents, thin films, catalysts, and pens and coatings, etc. There are many other applications such as electrical, electronic, and semiconductors. So you, we are usually focused on quantitative analysis such as the, the oxygen and substituted carbon. And uh, we also use a lot for roles and uh, for the failure analysis, we and this standard to make analysis is a QAQC and uh, for automobiles it can measure the material, can measure the metal contaminants and also you can measure the metal pricing films and also use allowing construction and academic. So next I will show you some of our uh, Motors apply in the field, such as we use the ATP plus the transmission models with the online monitoring pyrolysis gases and with the seven cent of centimeters optical lens. And also, we can measure 100 centimeters uh, gas sales. And this is the ATP A900 TP mobile FTIR spectrometers. Uh, this is the picture taken in thin law enforcement, and this is the picture taken in public security site as well as custom sites. And they are very popular to identify the narcotics and explosives and with uh, libraries and can charge it. And if you have any inquiry to identify narcotics and explosives, can uh, choose this model. And this is the ATP A900GSI. This is our engineer do some testing. And uh, this is our engineer has installed uh, this instrument to make a test. Um, uh, this is the laboratory test for two con sample compartment and with a good test result. And before this, the uh, teachers are quite exhausted with the too much, uh, too, too much uh, experiments cannot be operate cannot be tested all by the one. Uh, sample compartment. So with the two sample compartment can well solve their problems to make it uh, more 
uh, fast um, same test and the same time, so it high efficiency. So this is uh, also the ATP A nine hundred catalytics measurements. This catalytic measurements is a very um, uh, of common searches, this is the result for CO assumptions and uh, and different temperatures, the intensity uh, surface catalyst is different. And um, so I have already introduced so much about the FTIR spectrometers, but why you want to choose that? but not ours. I think you needed to know what OptoSky company. So OptoSky abbreviated optics work and the company logo shape arranging notes from the capital letter O. And spinning O indicates robustness, advanced technology, shining and running. And upper half color orange means passions innovation, but lower half color in blue indicates stability and reliability. Advanced technology and innovation to ensure first class cost quality and highest performance products. Our vision is top spectroscopy instruments company and our focus on high brand awareness up to sky solution brand. And we keep up with the thermal visual developing capability. And our aim is high-end spectroscopy manufacturer. We want to top brand at home and abroad. So we value customer first, teamwork, and win-win. Our motor is explore spectroscopy technology with a true heart. So we already have a global distributors, especially we already cover almost all cities in China. We can provide 24 hours, seven days services to customers. For the overseas customers, we already have the six countries the distributors over 200. So our revenue already covers the total 30%, over 30% of the total revenues. So uh, this is uh, you needed to know how is OptoSky's uh, most advantage is a research and developing center. We have five research and developing center, and uh, with uh, over fifty engineers, that is a, a very big uh, research and developing center in spectroscopy developing. It's not only in China but also in the world. So we have 50 engineers in Xiamen and in Changsha and uh, Xuzhou, Wuhan and Wuhu. So we have a total employees about 2,280. And we have the experience research and developing engineers about 140. Our research and de developing fees uh, investments about 30%. And we covered our company areas about 13,000. And we receive any, many honors every year. This is the Civil Science Award, and this is our winner award, and this is our gold award. And we have a many award for the high technology and the golden uh, develop, developer owner and award. So we ha are, have uh, uh, quite a lot of owners already uh, for the development. And uh, we not only developed many advanced instruments, we also uh, draft Chinese national standards to, uh, to uh, help the industries to grow. So we are the GB Drafter of fuel spectral radiometer and uh, Raman spectrometer, as well as other uh, GB draft standards. And uh, we are the ISO certificated. Uh, our products exported to the European NIST CE ROS LVD. And uh, we also have a police approval 
products, certificates. And uh, we have the 35 patents and 65 uh, new utility designs, and uh, our software copyright is 56. All this figure indicates that our technology uh, developing capabilities. So our founders have to quite a lot of social responsibilities in different cities. So uh, such as Xiamen Municipal Visit, Changsha Municipal Visit, Shizhou Mayor Visit, Changsha Mayor Visit. So we are uh, do a good uh, social responsibility and uh, many media coverage uh, about our company to encourage us and uh, to make evidence about our uh, the footprints left. And finally, I still need to uh, introduce about our product lines. So we already introduced the infrared spectrometer is IR series and our main product lines Raman spectrometers and spectrometers, as well as field spectral radiometer and hyperspectral imager. So uh, we have a wide application to scientific research, public safety, industrial major, and environmental protection centers. So we are the spectroscopy analysis provider. Uh, needed to mention that Opto Sky motors and uh, AT represents Opto Sky. And R represent the product line, such as ramen. The, the first the, the first capital letter R represent ramen. So ATR is a ramen spectrometer. And uh, 3000 is a model number. 1064 is the specifications. So if you needed to choose the right uh, model numbers, we can, uh, before you placing any orders. Uh, we have the many references globally, such as the Panasonic, Cipla, Hatch, Hike Vision, Honeywells, and the Foxconn's Oxford P Feeders. All this is our good partners. And we sold many uh, instruments to the customers, to the world. Okay, that is all about our PPT's presentation. Uh, next, we are going to introduce about our instruments operation. So uh, you can. This is ATP NIO TP. The box and the main engine is waterproof. Except that you can see there are some attachment. ATP A nine O pencil, ATP A nine O spoon, and adapters. It can compact to the computer. Open the box. We can see there is a computer screen and three buttons. First button is an engine charging port. Second button is a computer power button. And the third button is a computer charging port. Turn on the main engine port power. Then turn on the computer screen. This is an ATP A90 TPA. Turn on it and it can show the power. And now wait a second. The software needs some time to operate. When we are testing, we use the ATP A9O GPS can and speed. The pressure almost 10 kilogram.
crash it heavily. First, we can make your reference. Going to the background. And start to measure. The bottom is the progress bar. Now we see this is the reference spectrum without any sample. Now we taste the poly stereo. Press it totally. Then point to sample. Wait a second. The progress bar full of green. Our test is finished. Now we can get the polystyrene spectrum. Look at the bottom of the screen. It shows us the name, polystyrene film. After measurement, it better clean the ATP A9O taps head. And we can clean it with alcohol. This time we change the sample to powder. Scoop some powder with a spoon. And put it in a circle flat. Going to the sample.
And all we can see there is the spectrum. In the screen, there is a spectrum. We can storage the spectral in DOC Word or print it. Going to the setting, we can change storage path and another space you want. in the flat. Use a doctor contact with USB. Plug in the USB and it can storage the spectrum in your USB. Finish that. Turn off the computer and turn off the main engine. Unplug the USB. Go to the computer screen flat and turn off the power. Close the opening. Turn back the ATP in the over top stand. Put out the button on the right. Turn around the ATP in the over top's head. Put the head flat and close the box. So, and uh, we are going to also. Uh, showed you something about this. Now, introduce contact FTI, our spectrometer, our PLUS is a small portable spectrometer. It is suitable for both infrared measurement scenarios. The exterior shell is made of metal and the interior is a completely sealed space. This design can prevent moisture inside the instrument and increase its service life. To use the instrument, you first need to connect a power source to electrify the instrument and then connect it to a computer through a network cable. Of course, our instrument can also be connected to tablet computers such as Surface Book, which will make it more convenient to use. The ATP8900PLUS can be matched with different accessories to meet different use needs. The default attachment is a transmission module. Parallel light is reflected out of here and strikes the object being measured. If solid samples need to be tested, the reflection module will need to be replaced. We can open the latch here, take out the original module very easily, and then attach the reflected measurement module.
Clamp the buckle so that the original attachment is successfully replaced. The ATP8900 plus can be replaced with reflective transmission zinc selenite ATR, germanium ATR, and diamond ATR accessories to meet a wide variety of user measurements. Normally, this is the sample used to measure reflection. This is a sample for transmission, a liquid sample. These last two are for opaque solid samples. Okay, I think that is all for today's sleep. And thank you everyone for listening. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.